Hey, I'm Circle Strafe, and welcome to my mythical creatures bestiary. In this episode, we're going to talk about a lesser known creature, the Enfield. The Enfield is a mythological chimera from Ireland, and possibly England. As a chimera, it's built from different parts of other animals. The Journal of the Kilkenny and Southeast of Ireland Archaeological Society describes it as having the head of a fox, the body and forelegs of an eagle, and the hind and rear legs of a wolf. The journal describes these parts as indicating that he, by whom it was born, was reputed to possess the subtlety and cunning of the first named beast. The magnitude and fortitude, with honour, labour, diligence and great matters, of the eagle, and the fierceness of the wolf. Some representations and interpretations convey an Enfield sporting a lion body with the chest of a greyhound. In this case, the only eagle segment is the four legs. The lion in this regard conveys royalty and strength, where the greyhound presents the traits of swiftness and endurance. Enfields are greatly used on the crest of the O'Kelly clan in Ireland, and it is to this clan that the creature is perhaps most closely associated. At its earliest appearance, the Enfield shows up in a 1392 genealogical document referencing the O'Kellys. The creature also appears on grave markings for the clan, and tomb seals stretching back many centuries. The best example I could find for the purpose of the creature is within the Tribes and Customs of Emeny by John O'Donovan. O'Donovan says, There is a tradition of the O'Kellys of Emeny, that they have borne their crest and Enfield since the time of this Teague Moor, from the belief that this fabulous animal issues at the sea of the Battle of Clontarf to protect the body of O'Kelly from the Danes until rescued by his followers. Celtic peoples believed in giving their dead a proper funeral. They both buried and cremated the remains of their fallen loved ones. They highly respected the corpses of those that they were related to, and especially those of their leaders. They believed that proper final action on the bodies will allow the spirits of the dead to rest peacefully. This devotion to protecting the dead created a problem. At the time, there were a lot of wars. This was between tribes, between clans. Their devotion to final rites gave the enemy a unique tactic. Opposing groups would work to capture dead bodies where they could especially those of leaders. Disgracing the corpses and tearing them apart was intensely distressing and demoralizing to the troops. They believed the spirits of those lost would be forced to walk the earth eternally until completely avenged. This is where the idea of the Enfields seems to come in. The Enfields are primarily seen as guardians of chieftains and leaders that were slain in battle. After the leader falls, an Enfield is said to appear by the dead body's side, this creature would stand over the corpse and protect it from enemies seeking to treat it with disrespect. As an extra, I mentioned at the beginning that Enfields appear in both Ireland and possibly England. The reason that Enfields could also come to play in England is that there is actually a place in England called Enfield. The reason this is important is that the origin of Enfield's name goes even further back than that of the O'Kelly clan's documented examples, all the way back to the Roman conquest of Britain in fact. There's a variant on the word written as Enfeld, which appears in the English Domesday Book of 1086. Translated into modern English from that place name, Enna would mean either the given name, Enna, or the word for lamb, En. Feld basically means field. So pretty much either Enna's field, or field where lambs are raised. The name has flowed into common usage as a surname within England, most likely based on the place rather than the creature. Whatever the source, the Enfield Chimera is quite an interesting lesser known creature. It's an obscure cultural relic of a belief system long past. It represents, at the time, a reliable guardian for an ancient people at war. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. This was actually the first of a number of videos on mythical creatures that I intend to produce. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned as I add to this bestiary. If there's any obscure or interesting creatures you want me to cover in this series, Throw me a comment and I'll add it to the list. Join me in the next video of this series where we go over the shady monster of Alaska, Canada and Greenland, the Kalupalik. Toodles.